Right, that's a size 12, treble, bobless, with a number 8, bobless, that goes into the tail of the fish, I use white bait, then one hook into that, and that is how you clip that on. Sometimes I leave that a little bit longer down and hook it on there, because when a pike hits, it turns it, and when it turns it, the bottom hook just goes underneath the jaw. Nine times out of ten, that's how I fished and caught the pike. They can't go through that line. That line is 12 pound line. Then I've got one BB shot, just about sink, the dead bait that's on that. But don't forget, white bait are only that size, a couple of inches. That's all you need. Then that comes up. Two little number six shots are all in. One of those self cocking floats. That is your pot bunk. And that would be on my Preston pole again and that has got the side puller 20 elastic because if you can land a 20 pound carp on any of the elastics I'm sure you can land a 20 pound pike and I've had some beautiful jacks and perch of six pound and that's on the river so that's me set up for a pike a feeder on a pole the two rods and then I use 11 foot waggler rod with the same again reds and shimano rails and that's me set up now to put me bait on a rock I will show you. I'll put this down because that's my setups. And they work. Now this bait where I've mixed I bought these little tiny scoops. Now what you do you get your hook with Small little six mil pellet, you ban that, and then you get your bait and you put your pellet into there with your hook with your pole fishing. You get that on top of it, squash that. Like as if you're doing a method fader, because some fools don't like you using method faders. You get your thumb and push, and it comes out like an half mil, like a, 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 an half moon. And now you just lower in, and the fish will just grab. And that's my. And that is a fishing champion. And a legend. <laughs>